The last section in class is the Manage section. Here we look at how to enable and interpret document tracking in EDI. This section consists of exercises only, so I'm going to demonstrate exercise number 14 to download the Manage process, exercise number 15 to enable the EDI document tracking, and wrap it all up with exercise number 16 to manage the EDI documents. This begins in your book on page 47 and it goes all the way up to page 65. In the Component Explorer, next to EDI1, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this folder EDI Inbound and then in parentheses put Manage. This is where I'm going to keep all of my Manage process. I'm going to go to the process library. I'm going to search on process name. We're going to go all the way to the end because ours is Walgets, and I'm going to download Walgets 850 Inbound Manage. So I'll install that. I need to select the directory, the locate the installation directory. It's going to be my EDI Inbound Manage. Click on install. That ends exercise number 14. I'm now going to go into exercise 15 where we're going to enable document tracking. Document tracking is in the setup menu. It's all the way down here at the bottom in development resources. This is where I'm going to set up my track field labels. I have two field labels I'm going to set up. My first one is going to be order number and my second is going to be due date. We're going to set this up as a date time. I'm going to return back onto my Build tab. I'm going to go into my EDI Manage. And I'm going to open up my Trading Partner. And this is going to be for Walgets. Earlier in this class, we were in here, we set up an acknowledgement. First thing we're going to do is select our profile. Our profile is coming under EDI, it's inbound, and it's called Walgets 850 Profile. We're next going to select our track fields. We have two track fields. One is the order number and the other one is the due date. The order number, let's do that first. We're going to come up here, select the field value. This is going to be a profile element. It's going to be EDI. We're going to select the profile. It's going to come from the Walgets 850 profile. We're going to get this field from BEG03. So we're going to come down here, expand the BEG segment, and grab, and that's going to be my order number. The second is my due date. Once again, it's going to be a profile element. It's going to be EDI, this one, from the Manage tab. The due date is going to be DTM, where DTM equals 37, and we're going to be selecting DTM02. We're going to close this. We're going to save and close. We are now on our final activity, exercise number 16, where we're going to deploy and manage our trading partner documents. We're going to come over to the Deploy tab, and we're going to come into our Manage. We want to save and deploy. So I'm just going to put a note here that I added track field. I'm then going to go over into my Manage tab and go to Process Reporting. I'm going to execute this guy once. So the way that I execute it is I'll come over to Execute Process. I'll select my Atom, which is the Atom Cloud. And then I'll go out there and I'll execute my Walgets 850 Inbound Manage. And I'll click on the Execute tab. I'm going to turn the auto refresh on so that way we can see. All right, we're going to execute this Walgets 850 inbound manage so we can take a look at everything. All right, we have success. So now let's take a look at the process. You'll notice that when we come in here, we have six records. Everything was successed. We had four rows being inserted into the database. 
we have 2 for x12. So why don't we take a look first at the start. This is broken into our inbound file. It's 850 EDI for Boomi. If I click on the x12, divide it into two sections now. One of them is raw data and the other one is x12. So if I look at the x12, I have two areas there. I have documents and functional acknowledgments. The documents are each of our individual rows. And notice now the order number is being displayed as well as the order date. As far as acknowledgement goes, this is our functional acknowledgement. If I look at the data, you'll see that the functional acknowledgement was brought over. Let's grab an order number. Let's just say we grab this order number down here. 0065-9820755787 we copy it we can come over here where it says executions and go into trading partner Within executions, I do see my order number and my due date for each individual row except for the first one which is my functional acknowledgement if I click on Add Filter, I can filter by atoms, tracked fields, trading partners, to and from trading partners, and the standard document. I'm going to do track fields. I'm going to do order number. And I'm going to place the order number up here. Now, one thing I do want to point out to you, this is um, an undocumented feature. When you copy and paste, notice it places a tab up here. You just need to backspace it and move it all the way over. We'll click on Apply, and now it's narrowed it down to that one particular order number. We're going to click on the X, and we've searched through. So now it is your turn to do exercise number 14 to download the managed process, exercise number 15 to enable the EDI document tracking, and exercise number 16 to manage your EDI documents. This is in your book on page 47 and it goes to page 65. Once you have completed this, you have completed our EDI training. Uh, this is our EDI level one training. We hope that you've enjoyed the class and we look forward to seeing you in future EDI training events. Thank you.